Honorable Sri V. Vijayasai Reddy. Thank you, Vice Chairman. Vice Chairperson, Madam. Madam, I on, I, on behalf of my party and my leader, Vice Chairman Mohan Reddy Garu, raised to support this bill. And we support this bill. This bill seeks to rectify the block, crucial blockages inter, in inter-service organization, and hence we support this bill, Madam. I would like to make some three suggestions to the Honorable Defense Minister on the overall military reforms in this regard. Madam, the first point number one is low defense spending. India was the third largest spender in absolute terms, absolute monetary terms, when compared to US, USA and China, after USA and China. Madam, uh, the China large, because China's economy is very large economy, and it implies that it spent 3.5 times over India. When it comes to the absolute terms, while India spends about 77 US billion dollars, and when it works out, in terms of percentage of GDP, it works out to 2.66%, whereas percentage of China spending on uh, GDP is only 1.74. However, in terms of, abs in absolute monetary terms, it is 293 US billion dollars. Where is 293, where is 77? So the comparative figures may give a different indication. However, there is a necessity to increase the military spending, which I request the Honorable Minister to kindly look into the issue, sir. Sir, uh, Madam, the ministry has a share of central government. Share of central government in 2016 and 17, it was 17.8% of the total central government expenditure, and which has declined to 13.2% in 2023-24. In fact, a suggestion has been made by the committee and on Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Defense should be allocated at least a minimum of 3% of GDP uh, to ensure adequate preparedness of the armed forces. Madam, I request the Honorable Defense Minister to kindly look at the issue and ensure that uh, the minimum amount of 3% of GDP is allocated to the ministry uh, in the interest of the nation. The second point which I would like to bring to the notice of the Honorable Defense Minister is a high, high number of vacancies. Madam, as per the government data available with me, there are about 1.55 lakh unified positions across the three forces. Madam, the Army accounts for the maximum of 1.36 lakhs vacancies, followed by Navy of 12,500 vacancies and Air Force 7,000 vacancies. I request the Honorable Defense Minister to kindly look into the vacancy position and address the issue uh, to give a renewed thrust to the recruit recruitment in mission mode, Madam. The third point which I would like to bring to the notice of Honorable Defense Minister is absence of national sec security strategy, which has long impeded tri-service tri integration. This is very important issue, Madam. Most of the global players, be it US, China, UK, France, all developed countries, including Japan, have the formal national security strategy or policy. I request the Honorable Defense Minister to clarify the status of NSS in the country and steps being taken uh, towards it. Thank you very much, Madam. We support with this in this, this bill in this regard. Thank you very Thank much. You. Dr. M. Tampi Durek. 